Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about what my students keep asking me. Why is this important? Why am I learning 3D printing? What kind of money can I be making? Well, today we're going to discuss one way to make money by 3D printing and designing. And we're going to focus on today the designing aspect of 3D printing, although 3D printing is heavily involved in today's topic. So we're going to discuss selling your designs. And one example, this is just one example is through Patreon. Now, Patreon, if you're not familiar, is a place where people, mostly, usually artists of different kinds can sell stuff, sell stuff through subscription. So it could be a musician who sells, I don't know, songs once a month to, to people that uh, subscribe to him. It could be somebody reading tarot cards, uh, making music, I don't know, random things. I really don't know. However, if you do a search for 3D print, you get a list of people who are creating things. Now, the one that I heard about the, the most, or first actually, is Cinderwing. So this lady, there she is, she has designed all of these things. You, perhaps you've seen them on the internet. There's the rose or yeah, the rose dragon. I've seen these all over the place and she designed them. Now what she does is she charges $10 a month for the right to print and sell them. Now mind you, if you go to a website and you download a print, if you buy it, great, you can print it. However, it doesn't give you the right to sell that print. That's just the way the internet works and the way 3D printing has been set up. When you buy a print from any place, it gives you the right to print it. However, she is letting you for $10 a month, print and sell them legally with no problem. So for $10 a month, let's see what she says. You're gonna get commercial use, it's great. You're gonna get three designs a month that's nice. And you'll have access to not all of her library from the past, but um, let's see, it says uh, for some months, uh, Patreon exclusive design. So only designs that she'll allow here because she also posts these designs on other places for people to buy and not have the right to, to sell, but just buy like that. Uh, people will have access to her designs three days before they're released to the general public for them to just buy. Um, you'll have the ability to talk to her and ask her questions about the designs or her print settings or how to modify or make changes to things. You have access to her and, of course, her library. And it's all written down here. Now, she's charging $10 a month. And... She has roughly, let's just round this to 3,000 people. 3,000 people are giving her $10 a month. So I'm not very good at math. So let's do this right here. Let's just round this again to 3,000. And each one is giving her $10. That's right. $30,000 a month. That sounds pretty nice, right? Now, let's set this straight. Patreon is going to take a percentage of her sales because Patreon is hosting her. So they get a percentage. So it's not necessarily this much. It, I, From what I understand, it could be as much as 20%, but I don't know for sure. But if I had 30000 a month, I wouldn't mind giving 20% to someone who was helping me get there. Now, to put this in perspective, if you're making a minimum wage or let's just say $15 an hour and you worked a full week. So that'd be times 40 in one week, you'd make $600. But let's say you worked for four weeks, a whole month, you would make $2,400. So if you worked 40 hours a week at $15 an hour, you would make $2,400 a month with her designs. Cinderwing is making 30,000 a month. Now, when I first saw Cinderwing, she was at 2,600 people. So she's still going up. It's possible for her to get even more subscribers. 
Now, please do not think that it's a pretty easy job. It's, it's not. But you need to consider, if you're going to go in this route, you have to know how to design. That's the, that's the whole point. That's why she's getting paid. She's making, making these really cute designs, right? Also, not only how to design, but what to design. I would have never thought to make one of these things. And to put flowers on a dragon? Who would have thought of that? And the thing is, people like these things. Maybe what you're designing may not be likable. So you have to consider what other people would like. Now, just because she's designing doesn't mean she doesn't know anything about 3D printing because every time she sends one out, she has to be aware of how it's going to print because what if she sends something out that won't actually print? It looks great in a design, but doesn't actually print very well. It's It happens. Not only that, she's got to be aware of different printers because her clients do not all have the same printer. So she's got to be aware of those limitations. Also, you got to deal with the clients. It's not like she just sends them out and everyone is happy. No, sometimes you just have to talk to people. I think at this rate, she may have to hire a tax professional. She has to know about advertising. She has to deal with issues of copyright because sometimes people say, no, I designed that. And she's got to prove that she did it. So it is not just about designing. This is a real business. This is something that people do for a living and it requires more than just designing. However, it's very, very lucrative. Here's another example I wanted to show you. This, this gentleman here from Flexi Factory. Again, he's charging $10 a month. Check out his, he's got a lot of, of awesome designs and he's charging 10 and he's at 4,174. For those of you that can't do the math, let's just make it easy. 4,000 people giving him $10 a month, $40,000 a month. This gentleman is making 40,000 a month. Mind you, if you worked your entire year at minimum wage, you would not make 40,000 in the whole year. This guy's making it in one month by designing awesome things. Now, from I, I read a little bit about this gentleman. He has a, um, a background with uh, Disney. And if I remember correctly, animation as well. So he has some design background. Now, of course, let's go with this one. Because if you're going to dream, let's dream big. This guy designs a lot. I don't even think it's one person. I'm not really sure. For $10 a month, you get... A lot of this guy's got this guy has designed a lot of things. Now, again, it may be more than one person, but ten dollars ten dollars a month. Let's round this to nine thousand. This guy's making ninety thousand dollars a month designing. Now, this guy designs all the time. Again, it might be more than one person, but it's a lot of designs, and you get access to everything once you do this. So a lot of people like to subscribe. $10 a month. Now let's say you um, you you pay him $10 and, and let's say you get this Mandalorian helmet and you print it. It's going to cost you about $20 worth of plastic or filament. And let's say you sell it for 50. It costs you 20, you know, for the filament. 50 for, you know, if you sell it, do you think it's worth it to pay $10 for the rights to sell all of these things? It, it does kind of make sense if you're a seller of 3D prints, right? But here's the thing. To do this, you have to know how to design stuff. Now, I did a search for, you know, best 3D modeling software. And I came upon this website, which I'll link in the description of this video. So you can take a look. Blender is one of those reasons. Blender is always going to show up in... in 3D modeling software because it does so much and so well. But the biggest thing, one of the biggest things is that it's free. You can download this for free. The thing is, it's kind of hard to learn. You gotta have to have you're gonna have to have a lot of patience. Trust me, I'm learning it right now. It is a lot. Now you're gonna go down this list and you're gonna see all these things. It's not gonna make any sense to you, but what you want to do is compare and say, look, ZBrush. And of course, you want to want to compare prices per month, $39 a month. There's some other ones here that are going to be even more expensive. Um, I think Cinema 4D, 
a hundred dollars a month so i'll put this link in the description of the video and here's another link that i'll be posting it says software for 3d printing you're going to be familiar with most of these here's one for the ipad it's called sharper 3d cad yep and you can design on your three on your ipad if you have one tinkercad very popular in schools because it is free and it's online so very cool stuff right there this one's uh i think the the owner of this uh is autocad which has fusion 360 another great program there's blender again right blender uh <clears throat> there's a lot there are a lot of uh softwares to choose from but the best thing is for you to choose one after you you know decide and don't give up it takes years for people to get really really good at software design or just 3d printing design <clears throat> but the thing is you have to practice you have to learn because no one's just going to give you money you have to work hard for it and this is just one way you can make money through th 3d printing and design